everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Throwback Thursday. Today we're going back to 1997, which was basically, for all intents and purposes, the last year that I collected cards before getting back into the hobby a few years ago. And today we're opening 1997 Pinnacle. You can see these packs were $2.99 back in 97, and it looks like these were repriced at $2.69 with a 30 cent discount by some store. There's going to be 12 cards per pack and 36 packs in this box of 97 Pinnacle. We're, we will be looking for Passport to the Majors Chase cards. So just to give you an idea, the most expensive card in the set, according to Beckett Almanac, is Ken Griffey Jr. valued at 20 bucks. So that would be pretty cool. There's that side of the box and that side. So without further ado, we're going to start ripping these open. 200 cards in the set. Let's see if we remember these. I'm not sure if... Uh, I had too many of these in my collection or not. Here's the odds. We'll be looking for museum collection, 1 in 8. Home away cards, 1 in 33. Passport to the majors, 1 in 51. That's probably going to be pretty tough. And Team Pinnacle down there, 1 in 107, is probably going to be the toughest one to find. Some of these inserts are listed over $20 in the Beckett Almanac. So let's see what we get. And fingers crossed that they're not sticking together. We start off with John Smoltz. They are sticking just a tad, so we'll give it a little little bend to loosen them up a little bit. Commons checklist there with Dar Darren Erstad on the front. And then we have a Manny Ramirez clout card there. I don't think that's an insert card. It's card number 196, so it's not an insert. There's Hideo Nomo, your 1995 National League um, rookie of the year, we got Andre Scalaraga and Mike Vicina, card number 155, upside down for some reason. And it looks like it is some sort of parallel card. It's a pretty cool card there. Here's the back of it. We should show you the back of these cards. Ernie Young, you can see, pretty interesting, I guess. It gives you the most recent year. It also gives you their career highs there and um, their career totals as well. Former Pirate Kevin Elster, Craig Paquette, Charles Nagy. Orlando Miller and Lance Johnson. I am seeing a little bit of weird um, res. That's not residue, but there's something. I guess it is. What is that? Some sort of oxidation or something going on with the um, cards there? It just rubs right off. That's interesting. See that like white stuff there? If you just um, work the card, it does come off. So I don't know what's going on with that. These cards have been stored in a nice dry warm area in my house for the past oh i've probably had these for about a year i picked them up at the old honey hole back um about a year ago there's mo vaughn we also have alex ochoa there and then amari telemaco justin thompson luis castillo there's Bo bichette's dad dante bichette slime pass ray ordonius jermaine die kevin brown todd hunley Eddie Murray, Hall of Famer Eddie Murray, and then Cecil Fielder finishes off that pack. So, so far, no insert cards. Insert cards back in the 90s were the big draw nowadays. Everybody's after the autographs. Pulled some nice autos last night in our 2020 Tops break. Hopefully you got to see that. We do more 2020 Tops on Monday. There's Andrew Jones. I'll be doing some hobby boxes and the rest of those jumbo boxes on monday we'll be back for live stream those will go on sale on patreon soon there's tony Gwynn, hall of famer james baldwin who is a big star well, not big star big rookie uh, prospect back in the day paul Molder, hall of famer and brett butler and what's up with these names down here um there's like some sort of like really small it looks like it says metrodome there hall of mall of america metrodome so i guess they have specific words for each team brett butler Let's see if we can make any of these out. I see Don Drysdale, Dodger, Tar Pits, Sandy Koufax, Tommy Lasorda. That's kind of interesting. I never noticed all those tiny little words down on the bottom. I just, I think in 97, I didn't look that closely. And um, maybe I just thought it was just part of the design. And they were just kind of like raised edges, almost like sort of like Braille. There's Mark Grace pulled his rookie card out of a um, world's greatest pack chase box. It was a redemption awful. Fernando Vina, again, looks like people love taking out Fernando Vina. Scott Stahoviak going in hard there on him. Kurt Schilling, who will be a Hall of Famer probably next year. Juan Gonzalez in the throwback, and Bill Swift is the last one there. Next pack coming up. We've got 
Chuck Knobloch leading things off. Chuck Knobloch, of course, always had trouble throwing the ball over to first base from second. There's Rocky Coppinger, George Arias. These, there's Mike Piazza. And again, these cards aren't damaged. It just it rubs right off whatever that stuff is on there. Vinny Kisti, you'll have to let me know if you have any 97 Pinnacle laying around and you have the same issue. Hall of Famer Trevor Hoffman and Ben McDonald is the last one. Ben McDonald was a hot rookie back in the day, back in 1990, but never really became a superstar like a lot of people hoped he would have. Dave Hollins again, Shane Reynolds. Start to see some repeats after not too long. There's Union Chief Tony Clark, head of the MLB Players Association. Kevin Mitchell, Ruben Sierra, Dante Bichette, that's Bo Bichette's dad. He's got to check off the uh, notification on my phone there. I got the low power mode um, notification because I'm at 20%. Got to love that to get my phone charged up. Next pack. On the back, we've got Greg Myers. So, so far, all these, you know paying three bucks a pack i don't know if we would be getting our value worth even back in 97 especially since we haven't even seen an insert yet there's ozzy smith hall of famer sammy sosa clout card and i'm hoping we have a an insert soon and it looks like we have osvaldo fernandez cuban defector there mark johnson nice parallel card i'm you can see the names much more clearly on this parallel cards because they're not raised up ken kim Nitty, your 97 national league mvp and brett myers is the last one there lots of packs in this box 36 total next up we've got gary gaietti taking the ball over to right field there might be seeing it again tony clark I haven't seen Derek jeter yet in this set i I, you, I would hope Derek Jeter is in this set. I guess I should look at the checklist. Bobby Abreu, Sean Dunson, and Tim Salmon. I was never a huge fan of Pinnacle. I really liked 92 and 93 Pinnacle, but after that, um, I didn't really get into Pinnacle that much. I always collected tops, base tops. Hey, we're just talking about him. There he is, Derek Jeter. Chad Matola, so Derek Jeter, of course, Hall of Famer. He'll be going into the Hall this summer. Rafael Palmero, Yvonne Rodriguez, fellow Hall of Famer there. Darren Dreifert, another big-time prospect that never really became a superstar. And Jeff Brantley, who now is the Reds, or one of the Reds, announcers. So he's found a nice career after finishing off his big league career there. John Smoltz and Jeff Brantley is pretty talented too. I usually listen to him on the way home from Cincinnati when I got to see the Buccos there. Jim Tomey, we have an insert card and Barry Bonds it follows him up. Let's see what this is. We have a team pinnacle, Ken Caminetti, and on the back we have Jim Tomey. So team pinnacle, I'll tell you what this is supposedly worth. Jim Tomey and Ken Kennedy listed at a $5 card in Beckett. I wish that the Jim Tomey had the nice finished side. There's the back of that one. There's Barry Bonds making or about to make a catch there. Barry Bonds before steroids, not quite blown up quite just yet there. Alan Trammell, Hall of Famer. Pat Henkin, who had some really nice seasons in the mid-90s. Ernie Young and Kevin Elster yet again. I'm really interested to see if we can find that... Passport to the Majors or whatever they, yeah, Passport to the Major Chase card that they advertise on the box. Might not uh, find it in this box as it is one in every 51 packs, which is roughly one in every two boxes. As there's only 36 packs in the box. Another Mike Piazza, another John Smoltz. Pulled like three John Smoltz cards. There's Paul Wilson, part of the big three there with the New York Mets in the mid to late 90s, along with Jason Isringhausen and Bill Pauls for Albert Bell. Who used to rake Delino De Shields, Jermaine Dye, and Kevin Brown again. Next pack up on this throwback Thursday. I think tomorrow we might do a, I don't know if I'll do a face off, blaster box face off video or maybe a retail review of 2020 tops. I stopped off at Target today on the way home from work and did not see any new 2020 tops. Every Area stocks their stuff differently around here. It's usually on the weekends they finally put the stuff out. There's Edgar Martinez, Hall of Famer, stretching there. I wonder what stadium that is. Some of the hard, it's harder for me to identify some of the older stadiums because I didn't go to them. Scott Brocious, um, 
with possibly his daughter there, I guess. And Frankie Rodriguez is the last one there. Next pack, we've got Lance Johnson on the back, who was a triples mach machine. Andres Galarraga clout card again. That's just a base card. I guess the clout was kind of like a little subset within the set. There's Frank Thomas. Chapman Tola, do we have an insert card on the other side? Nope, it's just one of those. Oh, I don't even know what this is called. It's, is it a museum collection, possibly? I, I have, literally have no idea. I'll just call it. Yeah, it is a museum collection. There it is on the bottom. Museum collection cards, by the way, are worth 5 to 12 times, and they're roughly 1 in 9 packs. We've already pulled 3 of those, so we're doing pretty good, as we've only opened probably like maybe 10 packs so far. Ryan Sandberg and Chipper Jones is the last one there. Next pack up. Hopefully everybody has some nice plans for this weekend. I know that spring training kicks off on Monday for a few teams, including the Pittsburgh Pirates, and that's pitchers and catchers that will be reporting. They always report roughly about five days before position players. Carlos Garcia, the Pirates' 1994 All-Star representative, never a huge fan of his. I grew up a huge Pittsburgh Pirates fan. I think they might lose 100 games this year, though, unfortunately. All right, here's our next pack. Luis Castillo. Ozzy Smith again. Looks like I wasn't too careful. We got a little bit of paper loss on the Smith, which kind of stinks. And here we go. Home away. So, this is one of the insert cards we were looking for. You can see it's die cut there. It's Chipper Jones. And there's the back of the card, one of 24. So home away, by the way, we can see the odds on the pack. It's nice that they actually put them on there. One in 33 packs, and we get a Hall of Famer here. Looking at the Beckett Almanac, which of course is never a really great indicator of stuff and what it sells for because it's usually on eBay you can find stuff for less. Chipper Jones, this is valued at a $10 card. So $10 Chipper Jones card there, Barry Bonds and Alan Trammell and some repeats there follow up that insert. So we've gotten two inserts, Ken Caminetti and also um, Jim Tomey, Team Pinnacle, and now the Home Away. I hope that we can find a couple more. I know that as a kid, I'd be pretty stoked about that one. And probably back in the day, those might have been worth a lot more. I don't have a 1997 Beckett laying around handy that I could crack open and see what they used to go there for. Another museum collection, Mike Sweeney. Those museum collection cards are pretty sweet. Check it out. One in nine packs. Already saw the rest of those cards already. Probably won't talk too much more about the base cards unless there's a great one that we haven't seen yet. The Derek Jeter is valued at the highest um, card, along with Barry Bonds and Derek Jeter, according to Becca Almanac. Both worth $2. Here's our next pack. Almost want to like just get right to the middle, like in the tops jumbos. And what do we have here? It is, is this a booklet? It It's a booklet, a Makoto Suzuki Passport to the Majors booklet. And, um, of course, there's no. it would be awesome if there's an autograph in there. I'm not sure exactly what this is going for, but this is the chase, the passport to the majors. So we found it. Unfortunately, we got probably literally the worst possible guy you can find. This card is valued at $2. It is a common, and um, that is Max Suzuki. So most of you guys will know him as Max Suzuki instead of Makoto Suzuki. He obviously... Went with the shortened version of his name, card number 2225. So got a $2 card there, one in 51 packs. We're up to three inserts that we've pulled. There's Chan Ho Park and Tony Gwynn. Three inserts, best one being the Chipper Jones. If you add all them up, Beckett value, we have $17 worth of cards among those three inserts. I would be happy to get maybe like five bucks for all of them all together though. That's just the way the card game is kind of on eBay. You can find stuff for really cheap. Kevin Mitchell's the last one there. Next pack. Let's see who we have here. You got Eric Davis on the top. Rick Wilkins there. Get right to the middle for you guys. I don't want to make the video like a half an hour long. There's a Tom Glavin in there. He's a Hall of Famer. I was kind of deciding between a couple different releases. I almost did 89 Fleer again. 
Uh, last time I did 89 Fleer was over a year ago, so I was kind of feeling like maybe we should go back and do it. I almost did it, but I was like, I've been sitting on this box for a while now. And how about this one? Ken Griffey Jr., home away. I think I said this was literally the best card we could find. And it is a $20. Wait. There's two variations here. Um, one of them is $200. Um... I'm going to have to take a look at this. There's Ken Griffey Jr., card number 4 of 24. Um, I'm a little bit confused right now. This is the way they have this listed here. Let me show you what I'm looking at. I'm looking at Home Away right here. See the Home Away? And it says $200 to be Ken Griffey Jr. Home, but it lists that at card number 4. So I'm a little bit confused right now if um, there's an error in the Beckett or not. Um, not sure, but still pretty cool to find a Ken Griffey Jr. Pretty stoked to find that one. Literally the best card in that set. Very, very nice. So it says, I, I'm really confused here because I think this is the two, is, I'm, I guess this is the $200 card. Confusion is ensuing. Take a look at this. Let's try to figure this out. So they only list 12 cards in the set. There's 12 subjects there, right? And uh, I'm guessing for each player, there's there's an away and there's a home. And we just got the Griffey home, which is a $200 card. So let me know if, uh, did I just pull a $200 card out of this? If I did, that would be pretty crazy. Um, of course, it's probably worth much less on eBay. Maybe I'd be stoked to get 50 bucks for it. We'll have to let me know in the comments. It looks like we're getting a visitor down here. Hey, guys. You guys done with dinner? It was dinner time. Have the kids over today having some pizza rolls. I'm just opening some baseball cards. Is your pizza rolls good? Pizza rolls go to favorite for kids everywhere. And let's see, we have a sticky Dan Wilson card here. Rafael Palmeiro, Yvonne Rodriguez, Darren Dreifert, Kevin Seitzer, and Robbie Thompson. So it looks like it's daddy time. I'm going to go play with the kids a bit, and uh, I'll be back here in a little while all right i'm back and i had a chance to look over the ken griffey jr home um home away carly pool there it looks like it is the 200 dollars version how about that i saw just a couple of them on ebay they were graded and they were going for like 275 bucks so that's pretty crazy because i literally paid here's the cellophane wrapping i paid eight bucks for this box $8 for the bo box and get a card worth uh, way more than that. So pretty happy about it. There's A-Rod. That's our first time seeing A-Rod. There's Hall of Famer Harold Baines. We got former Pirate Jeff King there, Lenny Dykstra, and Ed Sprague. So we've got a few more packs left here, maybe about 10 to go. Just going to go through and see if we can find any more insert cards before we get on out of here for this episode of throwback thursday i saw jim tomey in that pack hall of famer jim tomey next up edgar martinez is on the back and on the front we've got rick wilkins terry pendleton mark thompson there's eric davis and andre dawson hall of famer no insert in that pack either I don't know, it can't really get too much better than that. I mean, I, I could probably just say I'm going to, you know, give away the rest of these packs through Patreon or whatever and not even open them up. Got literally probably the best card we could possibly find in this box, but I guess we'll see what we can find in the rest of these just for the heck of it. There's Ray Durham on the front there. Jeff Conine, Conine the Barbarian. And now we're running into a cold stretch. Tom Glavin with a little bit of paper loss. Eric Davis, Andre Dawson, Jim Eisenreich, and Jamie Moyer. I wonder what that Griffey went for back in the day. Like, I'm always interested to go and dig through my Beckett's and find an old Beckett from the late 90s to see what that used to be worth. If it's a $200 card now, I wonder if it might have been worth 500 bucks or, or whatnot. Would have loved it. That would have been growing up. That probably would have been the best card that I ever pulled in my life. 
and I would have been pretty stoked about it. I remember I had, had like an Eric Lindros card worth like 50 bucks that I got out of a grab bag once. And um, that was like one of the highlight cards of my whole collection. I never used to buy big money cards as a kid. I would just buy packs. And usually you wouldn't really find stuff worth big time money like that, like hundreds of dollars out of packs unless it was um, – I don't know, like a very valuable, maybe like a Donruss Elite card. I did find one. It was a Fred McGriff. I forget what year it was, like 92 or something like that. 92, 93, somewhere there. It might have been worth like 30 bucks back then. Hey, there's Marion Rivera. That's a nice one right there. Of course, not his rookie card. His rookie card is 92 Bowman. There's King Griffey Jr. Clout card. That one's pretty nice. Edgar Martinez for the like 15th time. What else do we have from 97 Pinnacle? Marty Cordova. He had a nice rookie year for the Twins when he came up. I can't remember. He might have actually won Rookie of the Year. I know Todd Hollinsworth was a Rookie of the Year, speaking of Rookies of the Year. Jose Canseco, Carlos Delgado, and Ryan Kleska. So we're down to our last six packs, it looks like. Thank you very much for watching, everybody, on this episode of Throwback Thursday. Usually Thursdays are the day where I pick a box from the 80s, 90s, or 2000s. Usually I try to stay within five years as my range. Like 2015, I guess, was the earliest or, or I guess, latest box that I've opened in Throwback Thursday. Typically I like to stay, you know, a little bit older. I almost opened a box of 2016 tops today. I was thinking about it, but I was like, maybe it's only been four years. It's probably not enough time has passed to make it a true throwback. There's Terry Steinbach Museum Collection. That's a nice one. Daryl Kyle and Mark McGuire is the last card there. We've got four packs left on this episode of Throwback Thursday. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you've made it this far through the video, I really appreciate it. Also, if you would, please hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button if you're new around here. We'd love to have you aboard. We just hit 50,000 subscribers last night during the live stream. So thank you so much to each and everybody, every one of you that has hit that button. Really appreciate your support here. Mike Messina. And Ryan Klesko again, Rafael Palmero, Darren Drafford, already seen these cards several times. Two more packs left to go. Let's see if we have one more insert in store for this video. We may or may not. I've got some paper loss on the base cards, but the base cards aren't worth that much, so I'm not too concerned about those. There's a nice Barry Bonds. I'd rather have the inserts at this point. I feel like I, I don't know. I don't even know if I'd keep these for my collection or what I'm going to do with them. Sometimes I'll just randomly throw them in a box and forget about them. There's Derek Jeter again. And we do not get another insert card, unfortunately. But it was all worth it because we pulled a $200 Ken Griffey Jr. out of there. Pretty amazing pull there. Some nice other uh, cards coming out of there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if um, if you what you think the true value of the Griffey actually is. And um, thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you have a great weekend ahead of you guys. And I'll be back live for 2020 Tops Series 1 Hobby Box Break on Monday evening. And I'll put those for sale on Patreon sometime this weekend. So have a great rest of your night, everybody. And I will see you all later.